So I'm outside. Here is, I talked to y'all a little. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Okay, I had a worm on my shoe and that scared the daylights out of me, which is good. I want to see worms, but when I first glanced down, I thought it was a snake and I have on flip-flops. So, <laughs> not very cool. I don't know where the worm went. I probably kicked him to China. I don't know where the worm went, but anyway. <laughs> um... So here is my carrots. I told y'all that I left some carrots. You can see them down there. I left some carrots here to go to seed. They form these big white flowers. The flowers will turn into these little seed, green seed pods like this, which pretty much then dry up like this, which is what I have in my hand right here. And I wanted to just show y'all just how easy it is to collect these seeds. So. I'm trying to do this one-handed. I have this bag and you can see that I'm just rubbing yeah. those seed heads and you can see they're just falling off yeah. and they are so easy. And, um, you know, I've shared with y'all before that it was my goal and passion to learn how to make seed um, plants from plants. One way to do that is to let your plants go to seed and you collect those seeds and we'll replant those, all of these. You can see that I'm just pressing on it. I'm just pressing on that. And some are ready and some are not. So it's a skill that you really do kind of just have to watch and learn. Like I'll show you the difference. And this one is not ready. And this one is. So you'll see the difference in those. And really when you just start pressing on those, you'll start seeing them all fall apart. Um, and then they're ready to collect. So again um oh i didn't grab the right right one this one is not ready this one is ready so something very easy to do uh let your plants go to seed see here's some of my carrots down here they grow these big long stalks that put off big white flowers. Your flowers will form seed pods. Your seed pods will then turn to this where you can see the seeds, but the seeds aren't ready yet. You want them to really get this brown, dry, crackly, dead look, and then your seeds are ready to collect. Cucumbers are fully uh, cut around. Got some more grass to get up. That's going to be tilling. We can't do that with the hoe just because it's kind of in these tomato rows anyway so we're gonna get the tomato rows down the pea rows down i know i've said that for like the last three vlogs but uh as you know with uh every day your list grows and i can't get it all done so we're gonna try again on the next 10 vlogs to get it done <laughs> well the little fall corn that we plant is doing great um, we have put some cotton seed meal, which is for a great nitrogen booster. Uh, and then we've also disc and tilled and also hen hoed around everything. They're all doing really well. Some of the rows didn't come up as well. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with what we've gotten so far. Got great color. And to be a, to be a um, sweet corn, to be able to be this high this quick, I was real pleased with it. Again, we, we don't put any kind of fertilizer out. Only thing we've done is put some cotton seed meal and some um some manure basically some compost manure uh around this corn so i think it's done really well we've been real pleased with it so far you know I, our spring did not do as well as possible so uh, we're going to try to get a fall crop and then that way uh we hopefully can have some corn to put up for the year we have a little bit but not enough to, to last through the winter so we're going to water it right quick because actually it's been kind of dry in mississippi and since we put the cottonseed meal there we want the nitrogen to get into the soil so we've worked it in we're gonna let the water and jump on it for a little bit but uh it's doing really good i'm real pleased with this corn so far it's very sporadic i didn't plant it as tight as i wanted to but i wanted to be able to clean it and keep the the weeds out of it a little bit better so we've got about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven rows um of corn 
and so far so good it's doing really well so we'll see what it does in a few weeks we'll hopefully have a great germination and to be able to have some fall corn going into the uh, winter season so just wanted to give you a an update here um, quick update on the rest of the garden you see that we've already chopped and dropped that so it looks terrible um, we've got to get these down we have a few peas still making so we left them up just for a little bit longer but pretty much they're played out um, we've got our cucumbers doing great we watered them yesterday um, actually growing better in fall than they were spring so I'm, I'm kind of kind of happy with this I've never done fall cucumber so very pleased with this of course you see the silage tarps we've got the panels off the tomatoes these tomatoes were played out we'll take those down this little section here we will actually probably plant a cover crop we will chop and drop all this and weed eat some of this high seeded heads and then we will actually disc in a cover crop for fall skip where the cucumbers are and then from here all the way to the post right for the corn will be our permaculture chickens we will bed them in there really for the all fall and winter time and that way spring we'll come back and we'll actually use that as garden spot so really excited so far how our garden plans are going uh excited about the fall tomatoes in our in our greenhouses and in our, in our uh, raised beds real excited about the, the fall cucumbers uh, again nothing we've done before so we're going to try it we're fixing to put our trellises to where they'll lean just like they did for for summer and spring so we will actually get those trellises up in the next few days actually we, we've already got the, the trellises down but we got to get the the post down but the corn's doing really good too so real pleased just want to give you a quick update on some of those things and uh, other than that solid start has done great everything's done good we're supposed to do some bee checking and i see how they're doing as they go through the dearth season of summer and then again uh cows have about another week in that paddock there still got some heavy grass they'll go to the paddock behind the corn next and then start the rotation all over again but just want to give you a quick update on some of those things there actually uh i'm, I'm hoping to start watching it rain but it has not started yet but uh, we're gonna run up and check our bees at our uh, at our family's land make sure they're doing okay um, this time of year the things you want to worry about are um, they're not typically swarming this year but or this time of year but you always want to double check just because say for instance they don't feel like they have enough honey or she's not laying like she's supposed to because it's a, a time of year that she's not typically laying because there's not a lot of pollen and it's just really considered dearth what they call um, so the thing that you worry about though or I worry about is um, you know are, are the bees robbing each other you know do, do you see other hives robbing each other not because they don't have enough or maybe they don't think they have enough or are they trying to swarm because they feel like the queen's not being active so we're gonna see we're gonna go just check them make sure everything's like they're supposed to be those five hives up there I don't get to see them as much so whereas these I get to kind of keep hands on eyes on uh, those I can't so we're gonna go up there and look at those right quick I may come back if it's not raining uh, check these here always let your smoker I don't know if most people probably know how to light a smoker but don't don't ever pile your stuff in there and try to light it inside it you always need to have, have it have it above the the canister and let it get a good flame because it's not going to smoke really good unless you get it really heavy so i'll leave it staying up like this for a little bit make sure this bag is lit pretty good but we'll let it smoke just for a little bit kind of get uh some embers in it we'll put some more pine uh, straw right on top uh, we don't use the the little smoking things they send we use pine shavings that we use for our chickens or either we use just pine straw pine straw is cheap because it's something we have tons of around here in Mississippi so that's what we'd wet, rather use but if we don't have that if it's been raining a lot and I ain't got a lot put up then we'll use pine shavings that uh, we use for the chickens too so they tend to do better you can do some brush grass but they won't hold their smoke good so we're gonna go ahead and get this done I've got to go get my hive tool and then we'll go into the bees and see what we got going on <laughs> all in all those hives are doing good uh, the roaring was coming from one they kind of honey locked themselves they had some uh, older fall honey, so we gave them a little bit more space. Uh, nothing that was a necessity, but that's kind of, I think they were a little agitated. Uh, no worries whatsoever, though. I was going to show you most of the hive. I'll tell you how hot it is. It's so hot that it shut my camera down. It wouldn't let me film. So it shows how hot it is in Mississippi. So 
Uh, we're done with those four. We're going to just look and, and make sure the the uh, cows up here are doing okay. And then we're going to head back to IAP area at the house and see if we can uh, check on them, make sure they're okay, and uh, go from there. But um, those, those bees are doing really good, so I'm real pleased with those. All right, now on to the AP area here by Miss Bessie, or old Bessie. These um these have been bearding pretty good, so we're gonna we're gonna check them. Um, it is steaming hot, but right now since I got my bee suit on, um, I, I'm gonna go ahead and check them. They're looking great. I mean, they got heavy populace of bees, but again, the fear is, you know, do they have enough food? Are they comfortable enough in their places? See, they're already starting to beard a little bit. Now, one good thing is, I've noticed some nectar and pollen flow in the beehives up there so i don't know if they're eating on certain things right now or some of that fall is starting to kind of bloom early i don't know so we're gonna go in these check them out make sure they're okay and then uh calling it a day because it is hot I guess it wasn't my day to film bees. It was so hot that my phone kept cutting off. So got a little footage. Uh, all in all, my 14 to 15 hives, I say 14 to 15, it's actually 14 and a half. I have a nuke that will make 15. So I always say 14 to 15, uh, cause one of those were a swarm that we caught. So out of the 14, almost 15 hives, um, all of them seem to be doing really good. Excuse the humidity, it's so hot and it's been a storm. But all of them seem to be doing good. I actually had to add uh, supers. It's amazing. I've pulled over 18 gallons worth of, let me get where I might be, not in humidity. I pulled about 18 gallons so far for spring. I actually could pull another 10 gallons at least if I wanted to. I had about 35 frames that were fully capped, but I am gonna wait till fall just to make sure they have enough to eat during this dearth time. Um, but when fall flow starts, I think I'm gonna end up getting probably 25 to 30 gallons. So I'm real excited about that, which we felt like we'd have a bigger fall than uh, summer, just because when we, I mean spring, because just when we actually, we split a lot in spring, which don't be wrong, they made a good bit of honey for, you know, however many hives we had. However, we didn't know, whew, I'm sweating. We didn't know for sure if we'd have a bigger fall just because they had more established hives. So it looks like we are gonna have that. So. Um, I know you didn't get to see much, and I'm sorry if you have any questions about uh, this time of year or spring flow, fall flow, or our bees, please ask. I know that I have some other videos on, on bees. I know bees don't interest everybody, but I love them. But um, our fall flow will be un unbelievable, and our bees are doing great. But uh, we hope that you have a good evening. I know that uh, uh, it's been a long day here. It's been a hot day. I'm hoping it's gonna be a rainy day. Our fields need it and our corn need it, even though you saw me sprinkling it earlier. Uh, the corn does need it. Um, so hopefully we'll get a little rain. Uh, just again, if you hadn't subscribed to the Max, please do. Uh, we like y'all uh, sharing with our life and sharing with our farm and our homestead. Uh, if you like what you see, like it, share it, tell other people about it. And uh, ultimately, God bless you and happy homestead, y'all.